They are both renowned for their elegant wardrobes, so it is perhaps of little surprise the Duchess of Sussex and the Duchess of Cambridge have similar ideas when it comes to pulling together a stylish winter look. Sister-in-laws Meghan, 37, and Kate, 36, stepped out in chic ensembles in almost the exact same shade of burgundy as they carried out separate engagements in London today. Thrifty Kate recycled a berry-colored double-breasted blazer and skirt by French label Paul Carr as she visited University College London. Hours earlier mother-to-be Meghan, who is expecting her first child with Prince Harry next spring, donned a 282 pounds Club Monaco dress in a strikingly similar shade as she visited the Hub Community Kitchen to meet survivors of the Grenfell Tower tragedy. Speaking to female, celebrity stylist Rochelle White and Scott Henschel, former creative director of Mulberry, weighed in on how each royal wore the color, and what their outfits say about their individual styles. Rochelle noted that Kate's combination of a fitted black turtleneck with a burgundy two-piece has an air of sophistication, while Meghan's ensemble suggests a more relaxed and fun take on the color. She said, Kate's outfit has a look of sophistication to it. With the sheer black tights and finished off with a high-neck jumper or dress, it gives off a classy look. This is a classic Kate look I think. Sleek, stylish and represents her and her style. She added a simple black bag that finished off the look. Meanwhile with Meghan's outfit I feel that this was a lot more relaxed and fun. With the purple on purple or burgundy color it really complements her skin tone. I think that Meghan has chosen an outfit that trendy, fun and a good representation of her and her growing style into the royals. Kate will then join a roundtable meeting with leading researchers and students to learn about the wider ambition for developmental neuroscience. Meghan and Kate were pictured wearing the same shade of burgundy as they attended two separate engagements in London. The Duchess of Sussex visited the Hub Community Kitchen to see how funds raised by her first charity cookbook, Together, Our Community Cookbook, were being put into action on Wednesday. Just hours later, the Duchess of Cambridge visited a developmental neuroscience lab at University College London. Meghan was pictured getting stuck into the cooking, with the sleeves of her Sally dress from Club Monica rolled up and a black apron round her waist. The Duchess arrived at the event wearing a long purple overcoat by the same brand. Later, Kate sported a skirt and jacket combo from the brand Paul Ka, paired with a black turtleneck and tights, in a very similar shade for her visit to the UCL's Division of Psychology and Language Science in central London. Mother-to-be Meghan sports a new ring spelling out love as she continues to rip up royal style rules with her quirky accessories. Mother-to-be Meghan Markle was sporting a new trinket today in the form of a ring with a very sweet message. The Duchess of Sussex showed off a previously unseen ring spelling out the word love as she visited the Hub Community Kitchen in West London to meet survivors of the Grenfell Tower tragedy. While her simple burgundy shift dress and coat in a matching shade ensured her overall look was understated, the Duchess couldn't resist adding a playful touch with her new accessory. The trinket is believed to be the $70, £54, Jamie Love ring from LA-based jeweler Meredith Hahn. Although the origin of Meghan's ring has not been confirmed, it appears as though her version may be rose gold. At Princess Eugenie's wedding last month, she wore plain, loose-fitting Givenchy coat that may have disappointed fans hoping for something more glamorous. However, she lifted the look by accessorising with £6,000 worth of gold and diamond jewellery. The Duchess of Sussex is visiting the kitchen to see how the funds raised from the charity cookbook, which shared over 50 recipes from women affected by the Grenfell Tower disaster, have made a difference to the kitchen. 37-year-old Megan looked glowing in Club Monaco's 282-pound Sally dress, complete with cute velvet collar. The Duchess teamed the look with a matching burgundy coat worth £432, also by Club Monaco, and wrapped up warm with black tights. Meg wore a chic pair of stiletto leather ankle boots by Givenchy, worth £770, for the occasion and wore her hair in a low ponytail. The royal accessorized with minimal jewellery wearing just a simple gold ring on her right hand. Earlier this year, Meghan hosted a lunch for the women of the community kitchen, where she invited members to cook with her, serving a mouth-watering menu including coconut chicken curry, baba ganache and sweet pastries. 
Meghan kicked off the charitable event by giving a short speech about the book and how proud she is of those involved. I feel so proud to live in a city that can have so much diversity. It's 12 countries represented in this one group of women. It's pretty outstanding, she said. The power of food is more than just the meal itself. There's the story behind it. When you get to know the story and the recipe, you get to know the person behind it. That's what we're talking about in terms of coming together, to really engage and talk and be able to celebrate what connects us, rather than what divides us. That, I believe, is the ethos of Together. The cookbook is filled with recipes from women who came together following the Tower Block fire in West London on June 14th last year, which claimed at least 72 lives and left hundreds homeless. With their homes destroyed and some staying in hotels with no cooking facilities, they gathered in the communal kitchen at the Al Menar Muslim Cultural Heritage Centre in West London. There they cooked and prepared fresh food for their families and neighbours, and began to heal as a community. Today, Megan will meet the women of the kitchen as they prepare 200 delicious meals to be delivered to members of the community, including homeless shelters, women's refuges and elderly residents. The Duchess will also hear about new projects, including a group for women affected by domestic violence, and to find out how the Hub Community Kitchen plan to extend their work and reach others in the local area. Please like, comment, and subscribe to channel. Thank you for watching my video.